will crumble to dust, and you with it.
forget. No, uh, uh, oh, come on, don't have too much fun now. Oh, oh, dancing, all oh, romantic. But I'm getting the tears teetering on the rock. Oh, 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 Henry, after this shoot, we're on vacation. It's urgent. I only need you for two hours. All right, I'll pick up the tab for your vacation. Well, I could run into a small porch. Don't remind me. Let's go. Okay, Rick, wrap it up. No, I will not endanger my son. It's all right, Dean. Better in the line. Look, it's smaller than a dime. There's a range of two miles. They won't even know. Standard, this is not the first time I've done this. They know what they're doing. No. Now you do what they said. Look, this is the way we work. You'd better know what you're doing. Well, there's your historical marker. It's pretty quiet. Just how I like it.
We would be no better off than we are right now. Now, why don't we just wait for the next call? Dean, there's nothing more we can do. You're right, we have no choice. Hello? Senator Chisholm? Yes. You should have done what I said. You got the money should have never put a transmitter in the bag. That was a mistake. I had bad advice. Unfortunately, you pay for it. Sorry, Senator. Your son is dead. idea of a joke. No joke. They got away with half a million dollars. And they didn't hold you against your will? Well, it was held plenty, if not against my will. How long were you gone? About a week. Who was this girl? Sonia Valero. She's a nice girl. Goes to a private school. You know, uniforms and the whole bit. She has nothing to do with this. Do you have her address? A picture? Yeah, but leave her out of it. Now, wait a minute. I was just taken for half a million dollars and you were never even in danger? Sorry to disappoint you. You people let this happen. Now you're responsible for the loss of $500,000. Now, wait a minute, sir. You're supposed to be professional. They acted exactly as I expected them to. If you'd brought me real agents instead of these fashion plates, none of this would have happened. And the money. <laughs> Their clothes alone could pay for half the school lunches in my state. We don't have to listen. Look, I'm sorry you feel the way you do, sir. But I'm even sorry for your constituents. Obviously, the thing is to recover the money. No, I think the best strategy would be to lay back. How long? For a while? For how long is a while? A month? A week? How long? Indefinitely. Excuse me, I have quite a bit. In the meantime, what are your plans? I think I'm going to go take a nice, long, hot bath. How about you? Oh, I think I'm going to do some uh, beach comments.
So this is where you go to take a bath. This is where you go to beach comb? Well, I just comb my way over here. Me too. Look. Spent shells. Which explains why that ambush didn't tear us to pieces. Blank. Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, just a while. Now, point is, why would anyone stage an ambush with blanks? Kidnapping without a kidnapping? An ambush without bullets. Someone's having a marvelous time at our expense. <laughs> You guys coming in soon? Uh, well, we're kind of on to something. You're not investigating again, are you? No, no, we're just watching some people more than others. Good, because Henry would hit the roof if he knew you were back on the case. Well, we're not. Listen, Rick, um, check the embassy for me, uh, Sonia Valera. 7 Avenida Bonifacio. Right, got you, got you. And, Rick, it's very important. Do not tell Henry. Uh, look, Henry was looking for you. He wants to buy us dinner tonight at 8 o'clock. Henry wants to buy dinner. Probably feels like a heel. Yeah. We've got to go, Rick. Uh, tell Henry, yes, we'll make dinner. Bye. Good old girl. Maybe she does it differently for different men. Your dear friend, Melissa Stewart. 
It's so nice to see you again. Especially under these circumstances. I thought you was in jail. Yes, so did I. As you can plainly see, I am not in jail. You are. But do sit down and let's chat for a moment. That's better. I hope you've enjoyed my little theater of the mind. Of course, by now you understand that I paid Sonia to lure Stephen Chisholm away in order for me to go to work on Senator Chisholm to bring you here. You might like to think of all of this as the house that Jack built. Speaking of houses, there's TNT planted throughout the foundation of this charming building. In exactly one hour, it will crumble to dust, and you with it. So goodbye, darling. The clock is counting. Have fun. <laughs> long enough for you to understand the meaning of time in prison. How dare you send me to prison? How dare you? You'll pay for it for the next 11 hours till the building goes up till you die. So enjoy yourself, darling. No hard feelings. 
activated the twist. Maybe she's getting again. No, she's not. I know it too well. Yet. But what you got? Oh, don't be ridiculous. It's okay. This is a, as good a way to go as any. Overized by the black widow. Come into my oh, web. Please stop. Send the spider to the fly. Stop my head! Stop it! No! Stop it. No! Right now! No! Stop it! No! I'm sorry. Help me. Concrete. Keep looking. Sonia, how good to see you. I did what you said. And they're locked up time? Yes, they are. You pay me now? Yes, of course, Sonia. You get what's coming to you. Letter. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
going to hear it. If I got it right, a lot of people. But you got it right. But the truth is, I don't know even if the signal's going to get out of the room. Isabella Eugenie. She was a master weaver. She saved my Lelouch dress. That's one that Mark gave me for our second anniversary. You're going to read me an entire dress book. Ellen Carter. Ellen. Oh, that's terrible. What? I forgot Ellen Carter. Oh, that's sad. He meant so much to me. And I just forgot him. He was my first lover. Remember your first lover? Why don't you keep reading? Astrid Bagelman. Now there's a genius. She's my psychic. Your psychic? <laughs> mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Well, what does she read? Tea leaves and crystal balls? She happens to be brilliant. She has a PhD. She's written four books. She's a fellow at the Dorchester Institute for Parapsychology. Parrot psychology? <laughs> anyway. I'm going to be anywhere on Thursday. Why don't you sit there and act like nothing's going on? This relentless optimism is getting old. Why don't you just admit it? In a few hours, we're going to be dead. I'll do it. I didn't know you knew COVID. Are you kidding? After two hours of did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Sorry. trying to get a fix on our signal. Look, we cannot stop. Do you want me to have a go? No. I don't no. mind. I'm fine. Oh, no! What'd you do? I didn't do anything! Well, you must have done something. You bill it. The dancing mom blew up in my face. God. you something. What? Forget it. Hmm? Now, you understand that uh, I never violate a confidence, and if I do it in this case, it's their own fault. What are you talking about? Look, enough is enough. I'm not going to sit here and wear myself sick. Rick. They out there snooping, Henry. Snooping? Only just them thing. I told them to stay away from that. I know. You I know. They're in some kind of trouble? Well, I'm trying to convince myself they just forgot about dinner. Forgot? They don't forget. They never forget anything. Did you check the hotel? Four times. Do you have any idea where they happen to be? Well, the only thing is they asked me to find out what I could about a Sonia Valera. Now, I don't know if it means anything. Mr. Carter? Yes? Mr. Carter, telefono. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. This is Henry Tower speaking. A ham operator? Heard what? Until my husband was killed, I thought I'd live forever. Not me. No? But I thought it'd be a lot more sudden than this. Yeah. Who's this is? <laughs> you 
Yeah. I gave it to him for our second anniversary. It's beautiful. Thanks. What was he like? Mark? Oh, he was bright. He was funny. He made me laugh all the time. And he was incredibly attractive. Sounds like me. <laughs> but he wasn't afraid to get close to someone. Doesn't sound like me. Have you ever loved anyone? Not really? Ah, uh, no. Nothing serious. What about your family? My mother and sister were killed in the car accident when I was four. And with my father, there was always work to be done. I guess I owe it all to sheep did. What? Well, I was 16. I was cleaning out the sheep did. God, it stunk. <laughs> we had an argument. He stormed off. Later that night, I went to his room to say goodnight. He was alone. He always was alone. I just wanted to...
Gloria? We need your help, Gloria. Go ahead.
come back, you know. Oh, we'll be waiting. Oh, give me a cigarette, darling. No way. <laughs> this is getting to be a habit. Hmm. Look. Out the window. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Jack, about what happened in that room. Um, Look, I had a plan. We were both under a lot of pressure. Oh, uh, that's not what I mean. Well, what do you mean? Well, it's, it's about the watch. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say this to you, but, um... You're glad it's that. I know how important it is. And you're glad that I have it. Not exactly. Well, Jack, I'm gonna have to ask you to give me the watch back. Uh, I, 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 I know you understand why, but it's just... Why, because we're both still alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Give it to me. Thanks. Does that mean we're not going steady? <laughs> <laughs> NBA doubleheader on CBS Sports. The New York Knicks meet the Boston Celtics, followed by the Portland Trailblazers against the Los Angeles Lakers.